In 2018, Insomniac came out with the hit game Marvel's Spider-Man, and front and center was Insomniac's new take on the wall crawler's costume, sporting a bright white logo on the front and back. This new suit was very controversial at first, but now, since the hype for the first game has died down, and with the second one coming out later this year, this new white costume has become a cornerstone of Spider-Man history, and is unchangeably tied to this version of the character. But was it ever really a good costume in the first place? What about Insomniac's other designs? Can we trust Insomniac to keep designing Spider-Man costumes? Or do they not have what it takes? Uh, enough with the drama. I just I just want to talk about the original designs in the Insomniac Spider-Man video game. All right, so let's talk about the suit on the box, the advanced suit. I used to really love this costume, but it's sort of fallen out of grace with me as I've aged and learned more about what I like in Spider-Man costumes and what works and what doesn't. I'm gonna start with what I don't like and then talk about what I do so you don't leave this video thinking I hate it entirely. So, the lack of boots, I'm not gonna lie, does this costume a bit of damage for me. I think it's the lack of red on the bottom of the suit from most angles. From the back it looks okay because you can actually see the red sole pieces on the bottom of the costume, but from the front, the red is almost completely absent apart from small elements on the side of the foot. I really do think this costume would be unironically better with boots, and it would be the only thing I would change about the costume if the colors on it weren't so ugly. Let's take a close up. I think orange on Spider-Man is a cardinal sin. I think in most places it looks okay because the orange isn't super intense, but here, this costume is really just as orange as it can be. If you don't believe me, I even opened up this image in my drawing program and color selected the costume. It's almost entirely made out of shades of orange. It's not even red at all. But the blue is great though, I actually think it makes the orange a lot more bearable. It's still all too painful to switch back over to the classic suit to see how much better the colors are done on that one compared to the main suit for the game. Fuck, they even changed the suit on the box to make it look more red! This looks great! Why doesn't it look like this in the game? And I think that's it. Those are my two moderately sized issues with this costume. I know some people might complain that I didn't mention that the suit cuts up the red with blue sections, but honestly those don't bother me too much. I think it's a cool design trope that can be done well, and can really make a suit look cool, and I think the PS4 suit does a great job demonstrating that. I love the maroon piping on the red sections, I love how the blue sections split up the red to give his shoulders red pieces that look like shoulder pads. I also really like how the red pieces wrap around his arms. I think it gives the suit an interesting look from the back, as it looks like the gloves are detached from the rest of the red on the costume, but they actually aren't. I really love the white elements on this costume too. I think having the giant spiders on this costume could have only worked if the emblems were anything but black. I think having them white makes them pop out over the blue sections much better. I think the details on this suit are stellar too. Adding texture to the fabric and seams all over is one of my favorite features of Insomniac's costumes. I think they overdo it in some places, like the arms. Why the- why is there a random circular seam on the arm? Like I make costumes, I have no clue why this would be necessary. But, but anyway, small details like the palm pads, the maroon piping, and the seam lines are all welcome changes that I really enjoy about this Spider-Man suit. I also really love the amount of custom souls in this game. Give me more Spider-Man feet. Overall, I really think this costume has some super cool elements, and the stuff I like about it is enough to distract me from the stuff that I don't. It's a good suit, but I think it has some pretty glaring flaws that I have to address every time I talk about it. So uh, let's talk about Insomniac's much more controversial foray in the Spider-Man design. The Velocity Suit. This costume divided a lot of people, and I know it might not be the best costume, but I want to say I think they had something really cool going on with the idea for this one. I like the colors, and I enjoy the bright neon blue Spider-Man logo that flows throughout the costume. I really like how the blue sections of this costume look when they're fully illuminated, and I think the cherry red armored parts of this suit look great. I don't know what it is, I just really like this costume. I think the red traveling through the suit 
between the legs of the spider is cool. I don't think the armored elements of this costume are too offensive, aside from some random black pieces that pop out every now and then. I just think overall it's kind of a cool idea that I think they executed pretty alright. There's only one part of this costume that I think they didn't do a really good job on, and it's the eyes. I just cannot get behind them. Like if you really wanted a set of glowing eyes, I legitimately would have preferred the eyes from the suit right next to it in the alternate suits menu. The all new all different Spider-Man outfit. I just think these eyes are too foreign to the design of Spider-Man, and they don't look anything like the old ones, not even a tiny bit. Honestly, I just think any other pair of eyes from this game would have worked better than the custom ones that they made for this costume. I also think the soles on this suit are kind of boring. Also, fun fact, both of the two costumes I mentioned in this video so far were made into genuine fabric costumes by Marvel for a YouTube series called Marvel Becoming that they were doing at the time. Honestly, their advanced suit was really unimpressive to me. Cheap looking fabric, several inconsistencies with the costume. It just overall to me did not look right as the advanced suit. But their velocity suit that they made for Aaron Riven? Much better. Much more steps were taken with this costume to make it look accurate to the in-game suit. Phenomenal job. Anyway, enough tangents. Let's move on to Insomniac's next new design for Spider- Anyway, the anti-ox suit is just kind of... okay. It's a really basic costume void of any special details other than the yellow accents. I like the Raimi-esque eyes on the suit. I, I guess. I think the fangs on the soles of the suit are cool too. I don't really know what to say about this costume, it's just really boring. It's not an interesting take on a full black Spider-Man suit unlike the other black Spider-Man suits before it. It just rips the logos from the advanced suit and puts them on the black blank canvas. Yeah, there's like some paneling and yellow LEDs all over it, but like... Who cares? It's just really boring to me. But let's move on to a costume I think is much more interesting than the previous one. The Resilient Suit. I love this design, and I never hear anyone talking about it when alternate costumes in Spider-Man PS4 come up in conversation. I love the vibe that this costume is going for. Everything about it is super sharp and jagged, from the white sharp accents on the shoulders and waist, the sharp spider logos, the squinted eyes, everything about this costume is extremely aggressive design-wise. I also love the reuse of the idea for a white spider logo on a more classic Spider-Man-esque suit. It shows that Insomniac wasn't afraid to show that there's multiple ways to make a classic Spider-Man looking suit that has heavy white accents at play on it. But to go back on how menacing the suit looks, while I think the shiny, darker red material and the grayish-blue material really work with the menacing feel this suit was going for, I think it just makes the suit kind of look odd at times to me. Like, is this an armored costume? How is it shiny? How, like, how does this work? I really like this costume despite its boring souls, and I'm really sad I don't hear other people discussing it online. Overall, it's a really good suit, and I'd love to see it come up in the discussion more often. Okay, I... I I legitimately have no fucking idea what to say about this thing. It, it, I, this is not a Spider-Man suit. It's a Gundam made to look like Spider-Man. I mean, I guess it's cool. I like the colors on it. I seriously don't know what to say. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm so lost. At least the souls are good. All right, let's get to the last suit of this video because I have some things to say about this. This is the armored advanced suit. And I have to ask, why? Why do we need an armored advanced suit? Let me break this down really quickly. We have the classic suit, which gets beat to shit in this game. So Peter makes a new one with more durable materials so it doesn't break as easy as the old one, the advanced suit. So we have the classic suit going into the advanced suit. Then later in the game, Peter is beat up by Doc Ock in his new advanced suit later in the game. So he makes a costume to defeat him a black and yellow armored costume that he wears over the advanced suit. So, we have the classic suit, the advanced suit, and then the anti-ox suit. So what the fuck is this thing? Why did we need to have this costume? 
Anyway, I, I used to really hate this costume when it first came out. I thought it was a really pointless design that made Spidey look like he was teaming up with the Sable agents from in-game. I thought the helmet looked really blank compared to the rest of the costume, seeing as all the white parts everywhere else have the red paneling on them with the spider webs. So why couldn't they share that with the helmet? I don't passionately dislike this costume as much as I used to. This suit's just sort of meh for me, you know? I just don't really care for it, and I don't really know if it's good enough to justify its existence. But I do think that this costume would have been a great replacement for the anti-ox suit. While the costume fumbles a lot of elements for me, at least it actually tries to do something unique and interesting with itself. Unlike the anti-ox suit, where the only notable thing about it is that it has Raimi-shaped lenses for some reason. I still like the soles on the anti-ox suit more than this one's though. I have to stop talking about Spider-Man feet. I have to stop. I have to stop! I think a lot of these costumes are really hit and miss. I can't deny this though. When Insomniac really puts their minds to it, I think they can produce a super cool Spider-Man costume. Whether they hire someone to design a suit for them or they design the costume in-house, I think it's pretty safe to say that they pretty much know what they're doing for the most part. That being said, this is my conclusion. Yes, I think Insomniac knows how to make some pretty cool Spider-Man costumes. They may not be perfect, but I don't think Insomniac has ever made an original costume for Spider-Man that I think is fully terrible. I just hope that my opinion doesn't change later this year during the release of Marvel's Spider-Man 2. I've seen Peter and Miles' changed costumes and I have my thoughts but I'm honestly gonna wait until I can get more pictures of them instead of just watching the trailer over and over. I have my thoughts, and I'll save them for a later time. Sorry that this video is really short. Um, I'm coming up on the end of my break from college, so in a couple of days, I'm going to be going back to college, and honestly, it will probably be a day until I go to college by the time this video goes up. Um, the video production might slow down. I do want to warn you guys. So, yeah, college is really tough, uh, and I'm pushing through it. But, again, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you to anyone that's still watching at this point. I think I say a lot of interesting things during these intro cards, and a lot of people miss out on it. So, shout out to the people who watch through the, the intro card, I guess. Anyway... I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.